love this trim around the front door. It's very nice. It is nice, uh, but our problem is the door. The door, well, tell me about it. Well, it's a single pane window, so in the winter, we get some frost buildup, not to mention the cold air that comes in around the side. So it's not weather seal, single pane door, that's not good. Ooh, what's up with the hardware? Doorknob doesn't work. We, got, we have to unlock it every time we want to go in. Well, at least you can get in. As long as I got the key. <laughs> All right, so tell me, you want to replace the door, but I, what do you want to do about this trim? I want to keep the, keep the trim. Okay, good. Well, I think we can do that. To get started, let's get this old door out of here. All right, I want to take off the inside casing. First, cut around the outside with a utility knife. Then I'm going to pry in between the casing and the jam with a knife, and then get my bar in there and pry it out. Pull straight down get more leverage. Once we get the sides off, we'll go after the hedge case. Now the casing is nailed into the jam. So what I did is we created a space for the blade for a reciprocating saw to go in and cut all the nails away. All right, Scott, here's your new door. What do you think? Oh, I love it, Tom. This is definitely going to keep the cold air out. It sure is. It's a big difference with what you've had. But first of all, let me tell you, this is called a pre-hung door, which means it comes in the jam, it comes with the swing that we ordered, and it comes with the holes already bored for the hardware. And you look around the perimeter of the jam, there's a weather stripping right here, so when it closes, it will seal nice and tight. And this is insulated glass, which will make a big difference. All right, now this is a wood door. This is a straight grain fur door. It's a good door but it is wood, so that means you're gonna to have to do something. You're gonna to have to seal it in some way. You're either gonna to have to oil it, you're gonna to have to stain it, or you're gonna to have to paint it, but you're gonna to have to do something. I can take care of that, Tom. All right, great, well, let's get it in. All right, Scott, we're ready to put your new door into this old opening. First thing I wanna check is your threshold to see if it's level, and it is right on. But Tom, the new door has a threshold. Why are we keeping the old one? Well, the old one is actually in pretty good shape. It's not rotted, so I'm gonna keep it now it's level so we can set the aluminum threshold that comes on the door right on top of it. Now the other thing is, is you wanted to keep the old looking casing and trim look from the outside. So if we had taken this out, there's a couple of things. We would have had to patch this hole and we need some place for the casing to terminate. It's a lot more work. All right, so we'll leave it. Next thing I want to check is the side casing. You see how that is? And that is plumb. All right, now. We're almost ready to hang the door, but before I do, there's one more thing I want to do. Right here, there's a big void, and that can let in a lot of cold air. So what I want to do is insulate that first. We're using minimally expanding foam designed for windows and doors. All right, now what I did is I put a nice thick bead of caulking on top of the old threshold, so when we tilt the door into it, That'll make a nice air seal, and it won't let any of the water blow in. All right, push her in just a little bit. There you go. Right into the opening, up against the casing outside. Now, let me open the door, because I want to go outside and make sure it's centered. So hold that door up so the whole unit doesn't fall in. OK. OK, so all right, it's got to go this way a little. Let me check it for a measurement, see how we're centered. Now I have 5 8 there. All right, so I got a strong three quarters on this side, so that means the whole jam has to go to the right just a little bit. Right there, good. And I'm going to tack it. Okay, good. Now let's check it for plumb. You've got to move the bottom over to my right just a little bit. Okay. All right, that's good. Right there, and I'm gonna tack the bottom. All right, we took the door right off, so now we can shim this, getting inside and out very easily. And also what I wanna do is take this weather stripping out so I can put my screws behind it. So I'm gonna move this out. Okay, get that out of the way. Now what I want to do is put my level back on the jam and see what we have. All right, we have a gap right here between the level and the jam. So we need to pull the jam out till it touches the level. To do that, I'm going to shim behind the jam right here. Like 
couple of shims, put them together, slide them in deep. Now I'm going to take another shim, spread these apart. I'll put it between them, and then I'll drive it down, forcing my jam out. Now let me check it. Okay, now that gap is closed right there. Now I'll have to do it up here again. So you're really just using the level as a straight edge? Right now I am because we already plumbed up the jam. I shoot a two and a half inch finish nail through the jam, through the shims, and into the structure. The nails temporarily hold the jam in place. These screws hold it permanently. All right, now that we put the door back on the hinges and the hinge side of the jam is plumb and set in place, we now need to shim the striker side. I wanna make sure the gap between the jam and the door is consistent all the way down. Now we cut off the shims. I spray foam up the sides and across the top of the door. Then I fill the big gap at the top of the door with fiberglass insulation. Now I'll just reinstall this weather stripping into this dado right here to seal the edge. And it also hides the screws. We were unable to use the old casing, so we made up some new ones. All right, Scott, your new door is installed. The hardware is in place, and here's the key to your new deadbolt. Now, I don't think you're gonna need the key because we have an electronic deadbolt right here, which allows you to program your own code, never needing a key. That is so cool. All right, now, we, still, we also installed a bead of caulking right here where the old meets the new, sealing that gap up. And I think you're gonna notice a huge difference this winter. <laughs>